Hey everybody, uh, my name's Eric. I'm one of the pastors here at the Foundry and uh, I get to read a devotion with you today. So here we go. 1 Samuel chapter 24 says this. After Saul returned from pursuing the Philistines, he was told David is in the desert of En Gedi. So Saul took 3,000 able young men from all of Israel and set out to look for David and his men near the crags of the wild goats. He came to the sheep pens along the way. A cave was there and Saul went in to relieve himself. <laughs> All right, sorry. Uh, David asked his men, uh, David and his men were far back in the cave and the men said, this is the day the Lord spoke of when he said to you, I will give your enemy into your hands for you to deal with as you wish. Then David crept up unnoticed and cut off the corner of Saul's robe. Afterward, David was conscience, conscience stricken for having cut off the corner of his robe. He said to his men, the Lord forbid that I should do such a thing to my master, the Lord's anointed, or lay my hand on him, for he is the anointed of the Lord. With these words, David sharply rebuked his men and did not allow them to attack Saul. And the devotion. Have you ever gotten the upper hand, a chance to finally make the person who has hurt you pay? Or maybe you have been waiting for the upper hand, plotting your sweet revenge against the person who has destroyed your life. This is the moment we find David in. For years, Saul has been unjustly ruining David's life. He had removed David from his friends and family. He had removed him from his home, leaving him to hide in caves. Though David had shown only kindness and loyalty to Saul, Saul had hated him. It was Saul's intent to have David killed. Now was David's chance. His fellow cave dwellers told him as much. His friends encouraged him. Now is your chance. Get even. Free yourself from this horrible man. But David couldn't do it. We know his caution wasn't out of fear. This was the man who had defeated giants, bears, lions, and armies. No, when David knew he was obeying the Lord, he was fearless. David loved God more than he loved God's promises. David loved God more than he loved the fact that he had been anointed king. So David trusted God. He trusted that God would remove Saul if and when it was the right time. Until then, David served God with his whole heart, submitting every moment, every thought, and every impulse to him. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me in devotions. Bless you guys as you go about your day. See ya.